Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can convert a regular image into a cartoonish looking image. The output of which you can see on your screen. This is a regular image that I extracted from Pixels. Pixels is a website where you can get free stock images. Why am I talking about Pixels? They haven't sponsored the video. Anyway, so yeah, this is the image from Pixel. It's a stock free image. And this is the output that you can expect from this video. Okay, so uh, let's go on with this video. So first of all, let's see that what are the packages that you need to install. So you need to install two packages if you haven't already installed them. Uh, first is NumPy. So pip install NumPy. You need to install this package. And okay, so requirement is already satisfied because I have already installed NumPy. And then you need to install OpenCV Python. So simply write pip install OpenCV Python. Press enter. Okay, so I I have to give some space here. Okay, and okay. So for me, this is already installed. So yeah, uh, let's move on to the project. Okay, so now we are into our editor. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to import the required libraries, which is OpenCV and NumPy. Okay, so now we have imported our required libraries, OpenCV as CV2 and NumPy as NP. Short notation for that. Okay, uh, now let's use the CV2.imread method to load our image. Okay. Okay, so now we have created this img variable and we have used the cv2.imread method uh, to load this image.jpj image that is our stock image. Okay, now let's convert our image into grayscale. Now I have created many face recognition video in which I have told you that why converting to grayscale is very important for feature detection. Okay, so in case you want to know, you can watch those videos. Okay, I'm not going to repeat again and again. Okay, so now I can see we have used this gray variables to uh, to store all our data. We have used this CVT color of the CV2. I guess uh, this C should be capital and there should be only one T here. Okay, so CVT color class of the CV2 library and it accepts two parameter. First is the image, uh, the image that we want to convert in grayscale, and then the cv2 dot color bgr to gray. bgr means blue, green, red. Okay, so from bgr that is the colored image to gray image. Okay, now let's apply some median blur to this image. We need to apply this blur to somewhat smoothen the image. Okay. And we are using the median blur. There are many uh, methods of blurring an image, but here we are using the median blur. Okay, so we have used the median blur class and it accepts two parameters. First is the gray image and then the intensity of the blur. Now what we'll do is we'll use the CV2 dot adaptive threshold so that we can specify that what are the edges of the face, right? So we are specifying a threshold that if the color intensity of a specific color is this, then make it as the edge. So let me first write, then I'll explain you that what are its parameters, okay? Okay, so I took the shortcut root and copy pasted the code here. So the first parameter here is the gray image. Then we have the intensity. Then we have these two classes. That is the CV2 dot adaptive thresh mean of C. And we have the CV2 dot threshold of binary. Okay. And then these two parameters are very special. And we can really tune these parameters to uh, make changes in our image. The first parameter, this is the what I've written 13, specify the thickness of the edges. Okay, 
And the last parameter is how much detailed the image will be. Now I have tested these two values. This is why I have written him. Now when I run the program, I'll also change these values and show you that what changes uh, will happen if you make changes in these parameters. Okay. Now the next method is again to add a bilateral filter, which is basically a uh, smoothing only. Okay. Okay, so now let's come to the final command that will actually create our cartoonish image, which is the bitwise operator of OpenCV. Now, OpenCV has like four or five, I guess, bitwise operator and or and Zor, I guess, these were the four or five operators that are present in uh, OpenCV. And what this bitwise operator do are they are used for image manipulation and here they are basically used for extracting the essential parts of the image okay so let me write first then i'll explain you okay so we have used the bitwise and operator here the first parameter and the second parameter are these uh, smoothing uh, filter and the last parameter is the mask the edges okay now let's use the opencv.imshow method to basically show the output okay okay so now we have used the imshow method and uh, yeah the text written here is show this is the text that will be present on the top of the screen and this is the image that we want to show this is the cartoon image then we have the wait key and destroy all windows to basically close if we press that cross button. Okay. So let me run this program and see whether we are having. Okay. So our program is working. Now, now let me uh, just make some changes in our parameters so that uh, you can know that how they are working. Okay. So this first parameter where I have written 13 is basically uh, used for specifying the width. So now let me write 19 here. And now, and now let me run. Here you can see that the width of uh, the edges is more. Now let me write a 9 here. And here you can see that the width has decreased. Okay. Let me decrease the value uh, more. Here you can see that the lines are getting thinner and thinner as we are decreasing the value. Now let me increase it to like 35. Let's say 35. And now I can see that this is a really thick uh, edges. Okay, so uh, 19 is a good balance of uh, thickness. Not 19, actually 13, I guess I have written in the starting. Yeah, 13. This is a good balance of uh, the thickness, right? And the last parameter here is the details. How much detailed cartoonish image you want. So let me first write zero. Here you can see that the detailing is too much so now let me uh, change this to five again there are some detailings on the forehead on the cheeks on the side of the nose uh, the cup of the nose we can see the details here also on the throat okay so here as we increase the value the details decreases this is the vice versa of the previous parameter okay and these two are the smoothing uh, command. So if we increase the value to let's say 10. Okay, so we cannot change it to 10, right? Okay, so it has a specific uh, range. So here you can see if we increase it to uh, 9, let's say, there you can see that this is a really smooth image. Okay, so yeah, this is how you can uh, create a more cartoonish looking image using OpenCV Python. Now you are free to experiment on your own. Download the uh, free stock images, experiment, but make sure that you choose a picture where there is no background. Because if there are background, then they will interfere with the image and the output will not be good. Okay, so yeah, there are some restrictions. There are some limitations of uh, this project but yeah this was a fun project to work on okay so yep this was it and i'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome okay so meet you there bye bye